hundred and twenty and one. For the record. You sure this guy caught 120 quarters? It's what the book says. Stand back. You ready? Yeah. Hey! Oh! <laughs> hey! I don't get it. I don't get it. This guy caught 120. I caught one. I got 120 on the floor here. Bert, what are you doing? Told you, man. I'm trying to get into the Guinness Book of World Records. Well, what happened to the balloons? They kept breaking. <laughs> hey, how about this? Spitting. Oh, I'm leaving, Bob. The longest distance spit, 31 feet, one inch. Well, that guy must have had some kind of cold. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Look at this one here. Wait. This guy dove 40 feet from the Flatiron building into a child's wading pool filled with 12 and a half inches of water. <laughs> Matt, where are my trunks? Bert, are you crazy? No, Matt, come on. I really want to do this. Why? What for? For the baby, I told you, I'm doing this for the baby, so the baby has a father really to be proud of, you know? Bert, this is insane. You cannot dive off a building. What if you miss? If he misses, he doesn't break the record. <laughs> if he misses, the baby has no father. Bert, stop this, okay? You don't need to do this. Oh, yeah, man, I do. I need to leave my mark. You want to leave your mark? Then how about diving off the flat iron building into no water? <laughs> Boys, would you excuse us, please? I'd like to talk to Bert alone. Hey, Bert, uh, how about the first guy ever to survive the decapitation? <laughs> okay. Man, for the Guinness Book of World Records, 11.58 p.m. Hey, hi, Bert. Hey, hey, Judy. I'm uh, real sorry about this. No problem. I love it. I love it. We get to come down here. Talk. I don't know. Hey, Wendy, Wendy. <laughs> Grandpa. That's it. I'm moving out, Bob. Don't bob me. I'm leaving. It started again every night, all night long. I can't stand it anymore. Come on, Bob. She's just a little baby. I'm not talking about her, Dr. J. I'm talking about you. <laughs> all night long with that ball. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. I'm leaning dead screaming, shoot her! is trying to get into the Guinness Book of World Records. They're what, Dana Nudge? <laughs> Reminds me of my cousin Pinocchio. What a pain in the rear he is. I wanted to hear you, my boy. I wanted to hear you, my boy. All night long, it could make you throw up. <laughs> uh, Chuck, do you think you and... Uh, yeah. Uh, Bob, uh, why don't we go for a walk? <laughs> oh, hi there, Carol. Long time no see. Bob. Listen, did you get that uh, Mother's Day card that we sent? <laughs> oh, I, I guess not. <laughs> Good night, little windy, 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 windy. <laughs> huh. I've decided to run for sheriff. <laughs> Hello. Sheriff, are you crazy? What if you win? Do you know how dangerous that is? You just got over almost dying. You want to try again? Well, lady, this time he'll get it right. Oh. This time he'll get it right. No, no, man, listen to me. Man, man, I'm talking about I want to contribute to the world. I want to help my fellow man. I want to clean up this town. This is not Dodge City, Bert. You want to clean something up? Clean up the garage. Boy, I love that. Clean up this town. You're starting to sound like a sheriff already. <laughs> hey, listen, can I be your deputy? Come on, let me be your deputy. Huh, Bert? Huh? No, no, I'm going to be the deputy. Oh, come on, Bert. I'm the unnatural. It's in my jeans. My uncle was a nightstick. <laughs> <laughs> Lullaby and good night. May your dreams be bright. Good night, Wendy girl. da 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 Oh, Chuck, I can't stand it. I just can't stand it. I know, Bob. I mean, I love Wendy more than anything, and if they take her away from us, I'd... I'd... I, I don't know what I'm gonna do! <laughs> easy, Bob, easy. <laughs> Look at that little face. Oh, I feel so bad. I have been so busy living, dying, running for sheriff, I haven't even got to know it. Oh, Bert, listen, don't let him take Wendy. I mean, I'll just die if we lose her. 
That's the way it is with babies. No matter what you do, you lose them anyway. They grow up. Mr. Philosophy. <laughs> look, 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 look. She's got a foot in her mouth. I love it. Oh, Bert. He can't lose her. He just can't. I don't know what I'll do if he loses her. Hey, Bert, cheer in there, you Give her the old you lose on anyway story. <laughs> You should see the way she smiles at me in the morning when I come in here. Or the way she pokes her finger in my eye and says, ut, ut. I love that. Or the way she... Or the way she... Oh, or the way... Oh, 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 oh. Well, this is good. Just the strength and support I'd hoped for. Well, no, no, no. What? We're fine. We're fine. Bob told us a real sad story about what Charlie McCarthy's doing these days. I guess you'd like us to leave, huh? Well, Ma, it's a little hard for her to sleep with four people sobbing into a crib. Good night, Wendy, darling. Sleep well. Wendy? Grandpa? Good night, Wendy. Good night, Lou. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. I'll have a little chat with him. Thank you. Do you have group rates, Doctor? Oh, no one at all. Just a fellow with a doll. Probably a street entertainer. Oh, no. That's my cousin. Which one? <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice. That was Saunders, and he didn't know. Well, give me a scotch neat and make it a double, huh? <laughs> How long is this going to take? They should have been done hours ago. Bert, Bert, they got to count all those votes all over again. It takes a while. I don't believe it. I lose by one vote. One vote, and it's my own? Oh, can you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> why doesn't it ring? Please, why? What, do you, you think it's broken? Well, lift up the... Don't! Touch it. You lift it up, they'll get a busy signal. Well, don't look at it. You're looking at it too much. If you watch it, it won't ring. That's a known fact. <laughs> It won't boil. If you watch it, it won't boil. I don't think it'll boil even if you don't watch it. Not the phone a pot. Oh, I thought it was the phone you were watching. I am. It's the pot you can't watch. Well, how can I? I don't even see it. You're not watching a pot or watching a phone. No, don't. If you watch it, it won't ring. It won't boil. It'll never boil. May. Hey, Ma. May. How are you? All right, come on. May I, Jessica, how's Jessica? She seems okay. They don't know they're doing some tests. Tests, great tests. The hospital doing tests. You go in fine, you come out in an urn. May, <laughs> get her out of there, please. Well, they have to find out what she has. What she has is health, Mary, and if they find it, they're going to keep it. She's in good hands. Don't worry. Tell me, what happened? Did you win? Lost by one vote. Oh, Bert, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you, but I'm not sorry for me. And I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I, so, see, I told them that the one vote was mine, and could I please redo it? They laughed at me. So I demanded a recount. If a man wants to be sure if he can't punch a ballot that he's going to handle a gun. Hey, 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 Pally, I was a little nervous. You're going to be calling in a shootout? Hey, you stupid! <laughs> Hello. Yeah, yeah, it's... Really? <laughs> really? Really? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, right. Bye. <laughs> 
apprentice got caught stuffing the ballot boxes, so I won. I am the sheriff. <laughs> Sheriff. And I get to be deputy, right, Bert? Me. Deputy. Me, please. I'm gonna be the deputy. You are not. Well, I am too. No, you're not. And too. You are not. Oh, yes. <laughs> Bert, what's the matter? <laughs> well, his apprentice, he, he, he won't give up the office. Yeah, he's holed up in the army with enough weapons to qualify as a third world nation. <laughs> he says he will not be taken alive, and my first assignment is, uh, taken. <laughs> Let's go get him. Danny, uh, this apprentice, he won gold medals for marksmanship, and he is now in a fortified stone building. On second thought, I don't want to be deputy, no. Uh, too short, yeah. Uh, have a good time. <laughs> are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Listen, Bob, don't holler at me. You were the one that blew it. Oh, I blew it. You blew it. I didn't blow it. Yeah, you blew it. Now, they seem to be at a standoff as to who blew it. <laughs> Right in the middle of an audition, Bob starts telling the filthiest joke I have ever heard in my life. This lady walks into a bar with Ed Sullivan and a duck. Oh, not now, please. Please, guys, wait it, please. Hey, Bert, hey, I'm glad to see you're alive. Thank you. Oh, Julie, I am so upset. Don't worry, there'll be other auditions. How about Pat, you dummy? It's not our little... What's well, another little... <laughs> Bob, Bob, come on. I mean, if, if we lose her, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. It, it, oh, Wendy! <laughs> come on, Bob. I'll, I'll take you upstairs. I'll get you a tranquilizer. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Oh, Jess, I can't stand it. I told you never to come near me or this house anymore. We, we, this one. I just want you to know, sir, we are all honored by your presence. True. <laughs> the world will never forget how you showed up Hitler at the 1936 Olympics. <laughs> Bless you, Jesse Owens. <laughs> Miss Dawson, are you considering joining this family? Yes, I've thought about it. Why? <laughs> so, Daddy, what did the doctor... Oh, my God, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to explain. What are we going to do? Oh, Saunders, will you bang on a pot or something? I beg your pardon. Mr. Tate would like to speak with you. Your mother wanted to send back this message to all of you. If she sounds a little weak. Well, this is a very small microphone in here. Here goes. Hi, Ma. <laughs> hi, Corinne. Uh, hi, Ma. Hi, Eunice. Hi, Ma. Welcome home, darling. Thanks. Hello, Saunders. Madam. Hi, Daddy. I've got to hand it to you. That's the most brilliant disguise I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> 